Hello everybody, my name is Jonas Wendorf and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a saturation mask and create a glow effect for your images. For starters I'm going to create a new selective color adjustment layer. Make sure that the method is set to absolute. And now I'm going to decrease the black in all the colors to negative 100. Quite tedious work, so I saved a preset for it, but for this tutorial I'm going to do it nevertheless. And the black's black to plus 100. As you have seen, for all the neutrals we have set black to plus 100, for all the colors we set it to negative 100. What this gives you is a representation of the chromacity of an image. That means every part of the image that has um, great saturation will be very bright. Every part of the image that has less or non-saturation will be black. I can show you that, for example, if I'm going to create a new hue and saturation adjustment layer underneath this and choose, for example, the reds, those breaks here were red, and increase the saturation of these, we'll see the effect on the fly how our reds saturate or desaturate. Okay, that's not what I wanted to show you, so now I'm going to go to the channels palette, click on the red channel, and I'm going to click on this little icon here to load the luminosity of the red channel as a selection. Now I can discard my selective color adjustment layer. This was just used to create the saturation mask. And I'm going to create a new hue and saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to alt click on the thumbnail to see what it looks like, what the mask look li looks like. And as you might have noticed, the glow effect um, increases the saturation in less saturated areas and leaves areas of higher saturation almost alone. So what we are going to do is now use image adjustments invert to get the lower saturated area selected and to increase the contrast a little I'm going to use image and auto contrast. Okay nice. So for the sake of demoing it I'm going to increase the saturation to plus 100 now and as you can see this looks awful but okay. And I'm going to change the blending mode for this hue and saturation layer to color. Way better. And now I'm going to shift click on the layer mask to show you the effect without a layer mask and with it. And of course the saturation is way too high so I would use something like 45 and if we now activate and deactivate the hue and saturation layer we can see the nice glow effect. So I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned a thing or two. If you have any questions feel free to email me at jonas underscore vendorf at web.de or just guide me jonas w234. Yeah, goodbye.